have a person, a friend, an inspiration. He is an inspiration. He's an inspiration for us all to have the right attitude. We like this guy. He's doing it. He's trying hard. And he's building himself a trike. He's building himself a trike because the doctors wouldn't let him ride a regular bike because he's really going to crash and burn. And if he crashes and burn, he could damage his heart pump. He has a heart pump. He carries a little bag around with him and he's got some batteries. His one side of his heart doesn't work right. So, we like this guy. His name is Josh. He's in the Bronx. We make fun of the Bronx all the time around here, but that's okay. He's a Yankee fan. Joshua, your problems are solved. All right, come on in here. He wanted a 26-inch rear wheel. We have said 26-inch rear wheel with a free hub body. Multiple spokes. It's a, is this a Mavic? No, it's not. It's a Wyman rim. Double wall. Nice wheel. Nice wheel. Now, he wanted a specific cassette to go on to this. This is a cassette. Okay. We're going to put that on for our buddy Josh right now. Match the big one with the big one. Big to big. Bada boom. Like that. Then we got this little guy here for his cassette. And we got this guy here, big to big, big living, big. And then we got, there's the big hole part on that one, and goes into here like that. All goes on to there, and then this is going to get screwed on. I should go get my tool. Got your seven-speed cassette onto there for you. This is a silent clutch. It doesn't make any noise. There's no tick-tick. Isn't that cool? All right. So that's for Josh. Now, Josh also needed a pair of wheels. A pair of BMX wheels. 20-inch wheels. BMX. Brand new. Matching the rear one. We had no black. Sorry. No black. Only silver. So there's his wheel set. Now, what else to go with those wheel sets? It's some rubber rim strips, right? Think. We got some rim tape to go with his 26-inch wheel. It is drilled. The rim is drilled for press the valve. If he would like it drilled out for Schrader, meaning car type, we'll be happy to do that for you, no problem. To go with those two 20-inch tires, some beautiful Kenda contacts, 20 by 1.95. Nice tread. Very popular tire here at the bike camp. To go on the back. We got the Sun Performance. This is the same exact tire that we're using on our commuter bicycle as well. Very similar tread pattern to that. We couldn't match it out, but I don't, you know. But it's pretty close of a match. All right. That is a 26 by 195. It's an 80 PSI tire. Directional. Nice tire. Of course, you're going to need tubes to go with all of those tires. Right? Tubes. He asked for pedals. The pedals that he was looking for were curved. It would be very difficult. So I went around and I looked around and I found these guys. He's got the extra large uh, steel toe clip. It's a pedal. It's a 916th pedal. Uh, it's a good little entry level pedal. It's going to work fine. Okay. We got that. He said he needed some shifters and he needed some specific shifters. He needed a twist grip shifters. So we got these. These are used. These came off of something. Uh, seven speed on the right side. And then he asked for the left side, which is the front derailleur, to be non-indexed. So it doesn't, it's ratcheted. So you can be in between, so you can fine-tune your front derailleur. Got him that. Now, next, what else? Oh, we needed cables. So we gave him some cables. We gave him four gear cables in case he screws it up once. We gave him four brake cables in case he screwed that up too. Okay, you can always use enough cables. We gave them casing. We gave them gear casing. Gear casing is different than brake casing. Let me, I just peer these back so that way I can show you guys what the difference is. This is gear casing, the stuff with all of the little things. And then there's that little plastic sheathing inside. That's where the cable runs in the middle of that plastic part. And this is very stiff. The brake cable is curlicue, with the, again, with the plastic in the center. And the cable runs down through the center. This is brake. This is gear. 
two totally different things. All of the hardware that goes along with this, the furrows and cable ends and that kind of stuff, also we're giving them. What else? Oh, in the box. Okay, he needed a derailleur. He wanted a derailleur with a hanger bolt, so this guy will work just fine. It's an entry-level Shimano Tourney TX. Uh, it has the anchor bolt system. Like that. Okay, so that's his derailleur. Uh, he asked for an idler pulley or something like that. I didn't have an idler pulley, but I did pull this used derailleur off. He might be able to use that, too. It's a used old Shimano derailleur. We can use that. I got him a derailleur bottom pull. This is a Shimano, again, a little bit on the used side, but still we're going to work fine. Okay, front derailleur. He's going to need a couple of... Oh, he needed one of these things, too. I don't know if this is the right one. Josh... I need your help on this. I'm not sure if this derailleur hanger, or does it matter what derailleur hanger or whatever, but there's a derailleur hanger if he needs it. Okay. Next, he needs a couple of tools. Um, every once in a while, you know, the bike man gets some demo stuff, some stuff that's sent to samples, some of that kind of stuff. I have not used this, but it is a parrot nose cable cutter for cable casing and cables. Uh, I've always been an advocate. You've got to use the right tool for the right job. And this is a cable cutter uh, by Pedro's. That's a freebie as well uh, to you. Uh, spoke wrench. We all need a spoke wrench on occasion. The old standard. We sell these things by the ton. <laughs> spoke wrench. Boom. Uh, a little safety item. Courtesy of from our buddies at Surface. Also want to help you out. My buddy at Jeff, he has given you a light. One of the new flashers as well. This is a brand new. This is the TLSN. TLSTN. Tail light, it's it's you'll see it. I'm sure. They don't even there's there are, I don't even think those are out yet. These are brand new and fresh. We don't have them listed yet. Uh brand new brand new for 2013. I don't know. I don't know if they're out. That's a good question. You might be the first one to have it. Okay, so that takes care of that, that, that. He's got some other stuff like crank and some other stuff that we're working on. It's coming in tomorrow. I'll shoot some video on that tomorrow. Alright, Josh, you saw all that other stuff. You're going to get back to me on what we're going to do and where we're going to cut that frame. If you want it cut, it might be a real pain in the neck to get it in a box uncut. I don't know. Call me up. We'll take care of it. 631-902-0836. Got another box of you for you. You said three chains. Boom, boom, three chains we got for you. We also got a chain tool so that you can operate the both. Chain tool to go with it. You need some grips to go with those uh, used grip shift shifters that we got. So we got some nice, again, courtesy of Surface. Anything that's in here from Surface, Surface has given to you. They want to go for the, they want to contribute to the cause as well. Surface Greek company, okay? Uh, so we got the twist grips, we got the chain, we got the chain tool. Brakes, some simple, standard, BMX style, 26 inch style, um, 24, I guess they're going to go on your 20 inch, right? With a 66 to 95 reach, nice little brake, you need two of those, boom. We got two levers with the locking so you can use this as a parking brake. Yeah, I talked about something for a parking brake. These, that's what that pin does, it works as a parking brake, so I don't think you need another parking brake, but whatever, we can talk about that too. And then last but not least, dun, 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 an FCM131 crank by Shimano. Um, it's an entry level tourney type crank from Shimano. Just want to show it to you. Ugh. Show it to our fans. Did everybody see me live yes, last night on TV? On uh, you now? Subscribe, please. Okay, there it is. Beautiful, nice. Shimano, tourney type, um, what was the uh, mounted, the, the, the toothage? <laughs> what was the toothage? Well, you're giving away some toothage there, bike man. I could use a couple. Yeah, you need some teeth. <laughs> oh, I can't. oh, here it is. 48, 38, 28. This crank also comes with a 42, 34, 24. It's a nice, decent, you know, crank for a mountain type bike. There you have it, Josh. Fear, Josh. Looking forward to hearing from you. I need your address. I need all of that other stuff. And uh, never fear. The bike man for you is here. Now, next. Here we go. This is where it gets fun, Jeff. Uh, Josh. You asked for a bottom bracket shell. He's building a trike that you sit down and you got your feet out there. And he needs something to put the... He needs a shell of the frame. He would like it to be a full suspension bike from a full suspension. I can't... Hey, come on. 
But I got this. Pull this thing out of the boneyard. Let me pull it over here. Um, I'll put it up in the rack. That'll be easier for us. It's kind of half-assedly parted out. Um, it's hurting. The bike is hurting. But the bottom bracket and the crank work great. He said something about 50 millimeter. I'm not sure what he was talking about with this. But, Josh, this is yours for the making. This is yours. This whole bike is yours, but I would like to be able to cut it down. Would you like me to hack saw it off here and here and here and here and here and here, 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 here? But, you know, I took this apart so that way I could show you. I, I'm, there you go, bottom bracket. This one also has a derailleur. It's got the whole thing, you know, the whole shell. So you can bolt the thing onto wherever you want. This is aluminum, too, by the way. It's an aluminum frame. It's an old 24-inch kid bike. Um, this should work great for you, man. Well, just hacksaw it off so we can fit it in the box. Please get back to me on this. I'm sure you'll be seeing this video soon enough because it's going to go up onto our Facebook. And obviously, you know, hey, we love you, Josh. We want you to keep on going. And we know you had a tough row, and we support you in that. And uh, now the fun part, Josh. How much is all this going to cost you, Josh? Zero. We want to support you. We want to support what you're doing. You're going to do this for charity. You're going to draw, to draw awareness to this heart pump that you're dealing with. To You're going to ride this bicycle in charity events. You're going to go out there. You're going to raise money. So we want you to take all of your efforts and raise that money to help the awareness. And Bike Man for You is doing their part to help you and support you. All of it. Zero. No charge. Nada. We love you, Josh. Keep up the good work. And I want you to never fear. The bike man for you is here.